Hey, what's up? In this video, uh, we are going to be looking at Ross's uh, flight, flight simulator panel here. And what's really cool about this is that he built the oh, pretty much the entire thing using all SciTech Logitech devices. So let's dig in on this. This is uh, fantastic. I actually really like this. Uh, when I first started building mine, uh, I don't like SciTech wasn't really where I wanted to stick a lot of my my efforts, but. Uh, looking at what, what what Ross you've done, what you've done with this, um, this is fantastic. I actually really like this. This is pretty versatile and can probably be used for most small aircraft. Uh, I would say pretty, I would say pretty versatile for small general aviation aircraft. I don't know that you would. I suppose you could. I don't. I don't think you would go too big like using this for jets or anything. Um, but perfectly fine for uh, many. Uh, different general aviation aircraft to include uh, Mooney, uh, complex aircraft, and uh, retractable gear, um, pretty much whatever you can get on here, uh, even for advanced uh, flights and panels with uh, G5s. You can actually get these uh, little flight information panels and get G5s on those, and I'll, I'll show you where you can get those here coming up in a, in a minute. So, uh, up at the top, you got two like a regular TV up here, just for you know, does not really part of the flight sim, um, but you know, it's good for watching a show if you're on a long haul flight. Uh, we've got over here uh, a, another extra monitor that's set up with a little map. I think it's called little map. Let me check that. Um, yeah, it's called little nav map, so that you can kind of hook that up, kind of watch where you're at. Um, which is really cool. I haven't played around with that, but I might be able to do like a review video on that coming up. The monitor, the main monitor here, same one I've got in my setup back here. It's a, uh, I believe it's 49 inch CRG nine. Um, I think I've got that. Yep. 49 inch curved CRG nine by Samsung. That is a, a big, that's a big one. That's a heavy one, um, but real nice. Uh, you can't go wrong if you have one of these. These things are amazing. All right. So you've got that over here uh, in the left. Uh, you have up in the top left, the only thing that really went on SciTech on this was a Garmin GNS 530, and that's by Flight, uh, I think it was Flight Sim Builders uh, is who that one's by, but you can get the same thing through Real Sim Gear for a little bit more money. I'm not sure what the difference between the two is. Now let's talk about, uh, let's talk about this uh, Logitech thing we got going on here. This is, this is fantastic. I really like what's been done with this. All right, so... This basically consists of uh, what's called a flight, informa flight information panel, or a FIP. All right, so there are 15 flight information panels on this setup. So you can see the six-pack setup uh, right here in the, uh, let's see if I can get that right there in the middle, uh, plus a G5, which you can get from, uh, I believe it was a site called FIPGages.com. I think you can get that set up over there. Um, and the rest of these, these three up here, not even being, doesn't even look like they're being used for anything, but you got your VOR gauges. Looks like you've got some engine gauges over here. Um, and then it uh, looks like a wet compass. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like, uh, and maybe RPM gauges over there. Uh, the only thing that I have in mind that is the same is really this piece here, and that is the switch panel. Um, I really like this piece. Uh, for me, it was a pain in the neck to get set up. But uh, I'm going to show you how this is all set up. This was actually just the setup alone using X-Plane. Speaking of which, this is a Microsoft Flight Simulator setup. All of this is being used inside a Microsoft Flight Sim. So, all right. Um, I did not care for the setup inside of X-Plane for this. There was a lot of back and forth using the forums and X-Plane. It took a little bit, but I finally got it to work. Now... Because of that, I did not I did not want to mess around with anything else that was Logitech because I knew all probably all of this stuff would be just as much of a pain to set up. Not less, you know, having 15 of these to try and make them all work. I didn't want anything to do with it. Uh, Ross over here is like, hold my beer <laughs> and let, let me take care of this. Uh, so hats off to you, Ross. Um, Fantastic. All right. So there's a program called SPAD Next. All right. Go check out SPAD Next. It's going to do away with all of the drivers, all of the programs that you have to install, and it's going to take care of it for you. All well, you have to do, I, I will leave a link in the description that shows you how to use this program called SPAD Next. I've never used it. I've not taken the time to figure it out, um, but I've got a video that came from Ross that was about almost an hour long 
that shows you exactly how to set it up, how to use it, and it will take care of this entire setup for you, okay? Um, so that is, in and of itself, very fantastic. All right, so we got radio panels. These two over here are actually being used for radio panels, uh, which is great. Uh, so just like the Bendix King, old school analog. Uh, I love that. <laughs> I love how that works. Um, just the more simplistic, the better. There's actually a third one of these it's over here. It's being used for, it looks like altimeter, transponder, and I think uh, I think he mentioned um, VOR distances um, from each other on here as well. So really cool there. And then over here in the middle, uh, we also have, actually it's being used as a uh, autopilot, guys. Um, so <laughs> autopilot on off, you got your flap switch. It looks like uh, pitch trim over here. And then basically enunciator lights, um, kind of telling you what's been activated and what's not. So um, really cool piece to have. You put all this stuff together, you're going to be, you, you could fly pretty much whatever aircraft you want. And you can customize all these parts and pieces as you want, as you need. Um, I'm not sure if you can get the HSI part of the G5, the HSI, um, and that works as your uh, heading indicator and then all of your VOR indicators and stuff are on there so you can tell where you're going if you're doing some instrument work, all right? And of course, all that works uh, fine with your, your Garmin 530 uh, piece as well. So all together makes a beautiful piece, all right? This would be an amazing setup uh, if Spad Next does a half of what... Ross says it can do and it makes all this stuff work. That's perfect. All right. It's so modular. Everything kind of just fits together so so nice in here. Um, buying these uh, FIP things, if you go to Amazon and buy them, they're around 150 bucks a piece. So 15 of those, it's, uh, it's going to add up pretty quick. Um, I would recommend if you're going to do something like this, um, probably start, maybe start small, make sure everything works and kind of, you know, add on as you need to. I just love the simplicity of this. Um, but yet, at the same time, complex enough to go with, you know, fly any general aviation aircraft that you want. All right. So all of that fun stuff. And then uh, to boot, why not have a cup holder that you can use uh, while you're on long haul flight watching a show? This is perfect. I, I like how this really turned out. Uh, so thank you so much, Ross, for sending this in. If anybody else has something they'd like to send in, by the way, uh, please send an email to Matthew at Keystone Method. Dot com. I'd love to look at what you have. Send me a picture. Tell me what you got going on. Give me a little rundown of what you got. And uh, I hope to get you guys featured on uh, another video. All right. So lots of great things. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Ross, thank you so much for sending this in. Again, you guys send in yours to Matthew at KeystoneMethod.com. I'd love to see what you guys have next. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. And have a great one. Hey, if you haven't already done so, head over to EliteSimBuild.com, grab a copy of our Home Flight Simulator Resource Guide, do that thing where you click the button, give us your email address, and we will send you a copy of our simulator guides where you can get the resource list, the avionics reviews, a panel blueprint, so that way you guys can send that off to your panel guy, get all the parts and pieces that you need, you'll know exactly what software to pick up, so you can get your Cessna 172 Flight Simulator built today.